Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm here with a short little video. Um, it's so nice to be recording again. My internet's been down for a long time, and I haven't been making videos, so that's why. Um, otherwise, there would have been loads more videos. And just the fact that my computer's been doing something called a kernel panic, um, uh, which which is where like whenever whenever I'd record like a million different things like hour long Saint Row videos and all that and when I press stop record this thing would just like flow down so you need to shut down your computer. I'm not it's probably gonna happen at the end of this video. Um say so if you're watching this then no duh didn't but that's not what I'm here to talk about. Um I've been getting loads of inboxes like okay, after my internet I just checked there's like a million different inboxes. Um asking me how I get my games that I play to work on the Mac. Cause I know a lot of the games that I do play on here aren't compatible for the Mac. So um, I'm going to show you the some of the methods that I use. So the first one is crossover. I'll show you how to do that really quick. It's pretty easy. I'll put the links to all this in the description so you can get them for yourselves. If you have a Mac, this will be useful. Everything I show you will. So I just hit continue on this and then click new bottle. Um, and then just name it whatever you want. Fur, 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 fur. Okay. It might take a little while to do this. Not, not really though. It take just like fifteen, twenty seconds. Um. Okay, um, and then it'll see choose a dollar file, choose a dollar folder. You're gonna want to hit file, um, and then you're gonna want to choose your dot exe or whatever that you use. That's only for Windows, um, except for dot rars. Don't choose those. Cause I've got a method for that later. Um, so what you're gonna do is just get your dot exe. Um, this is how I got my multimedia fusion two to work. Um, so I'll just do that here, the demo at least. This program is only for PCs. As you can see, it's a .exe. Um, so, uh, prior to install, well, well, if you wonder what that is, it's um, this like flash game maker um, where you can make these little flash games and stuff. So it's kind of cool. And it might pop up back here like this, which is kind of annoying because it would, won't go in front and stuff. But that's fine. Um, and it'll just pop up like it would if you just inserted the disk or whatever on a PC. Um, and then you would just install that. But it might be like, you don't meet the system requirements. That's because if it says that, then crossover is not the program that you want to use. Um, so I already have this. So I'm just going to not do this. But because it, it's different after you do that, depending on what game you're using or whatever you're trying to get on the, on the, on the Mac. So. God. Okay. Um, hope. Okay, the second one is torrents. Yes, that's what I was thinking of. Um, torrents um, allow you to download whole entire games and stuff. They take like days to download. This is how I got my Skyrim to work. Hint, hint. Um, and my Fallout New Vegas to work. Hint, hint. Um, so um, I'll put the link to Transmission in the description if you want to download. That's my personal favorite. Um, it's really simple and stuff. So you just download a dot torrent and then it would bring up this window it's like you want to open this in transmission it'll be like yes because transmission rocks it'll open up the screen just click next then it'll pop up here then you want to double click it and then this will this will be on normal just switch it to high and then um all these might be checked um just uncheck all of these and then these these will be on like global settings or something put them to unlimited and then switch this to 1000 that will make the download as fast as it can go so um yeah, that's how you. Do, that's how I use torrents, at least. Um, um, the third one is called Wine Skin Winery. This one I hate. I absolutely hate using it, but it only works for a couple of games. Not any that I have right now, but um, I actually don't have any program. I actually don't have a Windows thing that I can use using Wine Skin. But you're just going to create a wrapper and whatever you want. Eee! That's what I'm going to name this one. Um. Start creating it. I would really recommend not watching this if you want to see a wine skin tutorial because I don't have a program that I can launch with wine skin right now and I hate wine skin. Um, I do not recommend using it. 
Oh. Yeah, just do a different one. But this is one of the methods that you can use for a couple of games. So I'm not going to show you all this. It's complicated. Um, let me just close that. And you. And you. Okay. Um. The next and second to last one, as far as I'm aware, um, is called the An Archiver. Right here. Put the download to all this in the description. Um, and this basically lets you um, turn dot rar files, um, like this Castle Crasher soundtrack. It's dot rar, and once you have this downloaded and installed and stuff, it will just like do this like a normal zip file. And then right in your downloads, it will be there, just as if it opened on a Mac. So um, that one's really simple for dot rars. Um, and the last one is called on live. This is how I get my Saints Row working. It's really simple. Um, just make an account on live. You download the application, and then it will bring up this and stuff. And just press continue. Then we'll bring you here to this thing, and then you can go to the marketplace where you can download loads of games for the Mac and stuff. Um, and once you buy them and download them and stuff, just go to My Games, and then all the games that you have will be there. So, um, pretty simple. It's pretty awesome too. I love on live. Um, you can buy the games. For, like, like rent the games for a couple of days. You can buy the whole entire thing, depending on what you want to do. So, um, that's basically all. Which I have here. So, thank you for watching. And